Walking along a jeep road Walking along a jeep road Still walking along this jeep road Walking along this jeep road All right, so we are carrying over from segment 16, entering segment 17, which was a little bit of a weird transition. Didn't really know where we stopped and started, but according to the map, we're on 17 now. Segment 17 is a total of 20.1 miles and an elevation gain of only 2,810. It's actually more of a descent, about 4,800 of descent in this one. So it should be fairly rolling. And then at about mile 14, we'll see where the stronger descent goes into segment 18. But this is one where when it's a dry year, you're gonna have a really tough water carry, almost a 20 mile water carry, but we've had a definitely a wet and rainy year. So we are gonna try to make it to Razor Creek about a 10 mile water carry. So we'll have quite a bit of water left over from segment 17. I'm hoping there's a couple of the side streams just to make sure that we can top off our water bottle and our water bladder just in case. But anyways, we're continuing on segment 17. Here we go. So we're about four miles into this hike so far. Um, it's pretty rocky. So it's the terrain is dirt with the uh, roots and rock. So a little bit tough on your ankles or trying to make a clear pass. So I'm definitely making sure I'm watching where I'm going, except for obviously right now. You're in and out of tree coverage. So exposure isn't too bad if you have your dog. Um, definitely would be better to hit it up in the morning. But anyways, yeah, we've passed a couple of hikers flip-flopping back and forth. So I'm assuming I'm probably gonna see them further down. <laughs> and we saw that guy twice already. But otherwise, trying to make up for mileage when it does level out, it's, it is pretty rolling. You'll have a pretty steep climb, but then it'll go down and flatten and straighten out. So not too bad as far as this segment goes. Just getting some mileage in. Through the sea, a swirly, twirly gumdrops. And then I hike through segment 17 of the Colorado Trail. So we just stopped by Razor Creek. It's gonna try to make it a long break, but looks like some scattered showers are coming in. Um, ended up blowing out my Hiker Pro. I think there's this back pressure valve. Must have had too much pressure, but I don't know if I can fix it or not. So this will be interesting until we get to Creed and I can replace it. Just trying to filter five-ish liters of water through the Be Free, which needs to be replaced in Creed as well just cause that's getting a little bit slow. So I know I have to get a new one, but <laughs> go figure on my longest hike, longest trek, that both my water filters are 
not working as well as planned, but I do have backup tabs as well. And the beef refresh should be fine, just slower than my pump filter. But anyways, we only have about two miles, so we're gonna find some campsites. Someone said at mile 300 here, really good campsites, four to six. So we plan on dry camping there. Tried to camel up at that Razor Creek just so they wouldn't have so much water to drink tonight and tomorrow morning. And then it'll be another eight to eight ish miles, I think, until we get to the next water source, Lujan Creek. So I definitely want to have at least four liters going into tomorrow morning's. Tomorrow morning. But, anyways, hiking on. Okay, so we finally found a cam spot, the one that was closer to that last water source. Um, some guy was already in it. Uh, and then all along this sort of saddle ridge line, there's a ton of dead trees, which makes me super nervous. But we picked the area that has the least amount of dead trees and it looks like someone's camped here before. So I think we should be okay. It's not supposed to be too windy or stormy tonight. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna have ourselves some dinner and stretch it out for sure. Those rocks were killer on this trail. Something that I got very angry at, I did swear at the rocks. They made me very angry, uh, trying to get up and down and kind of slowing down my pace. I was trying to get a lot of mileage in today, but ended up only, um, well, I guess I did 17. We did about seven, almost 18 today. So we have about, I wanna say, eight miles to the next water source. Okay, actually just checking some weird light coming in. The data book again. Um, Gut Hook says we're at mile 295, so that should put us at about mile 13 on this segment. Um, unreliable water source at mile 18, but reliable water source at mile 19.8. So if we're at 13, we've got about just under a seven mile water carry. So shouldn't be too bad. Um, we've got just about five liters still. I tried not to drink any on the way to this campsite just in case, but should be good in the morning. Should be actually descending all the way down until we get to Lujan Creek. But anyways, Remy is a little bit tired. He needs some recovery time, some REM recovery time. But we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We are just about to get our hike started. We've got about six and a half miles until Lujan Creek, which is our next water source, but we do have three liters of water. We dry camped last night, so we should be okay until then. It's supposed to actually be a really beautiful day. Right now, it's a nice 42 degrees outside and supposed to get the high of 64 and only 2% chance of rain this afternoon, so just probably a little bit of scattered um, scattered showers. But anyways, we're gonna finish up the segment and carry on into segment 18, which I hear is pretty flat, some road walks, and we should be able to make it through that whole segment. So we are gonna try to get through the rest of 17 today and 18, and potentially after we fill up with water, camp in segment 19 tonight. But anyways, here we go. So we're only about 1.5 miles in, but I forgot there's a small climb this morning. Um, I thought we had ascended last night, but we didn't. So it's pretty rough for the first thing in the morning, but if you have fresh legs that are camping, doable about just 500 feet of elevation gain, but over half a mile, so pretty steep going up. You ascend a small summit, there's really nothing at the summit. Rocks aren't as bad, but it's still pretty rocky and there's a bunch of wild raspberries around. So just sort of a bare warning for those of you who don't um, live or camp much in bear country. So just be aware, especially in the morning and the e evenings, tons of berries around this area. So just be bear aware and you can sing or make your bear noises, whatever you wanna do, but just 
watch out for that. Um, at about, I think it's mile 14-ish to, right now we're about 15. So anyways, continuing on, just a couple more miles left to Lujan Creek. So as we are crossing over from the Rio Grande National Forest into the Gunnison National Forest, there's a cattle garden gate. And Remy just scratched himself up on his leg pretty well when his leg fell through. I have to figure out how to get him through because I know there's several other more cattle guards on the way because he might be scared next time. But we just took a little five minute break and it's not bleeding or anything, just kind of took the skin off. Um, but just slapped a bunch of green goo on and he seems to be doing a lot better. He's not limping or anything, but luckily we just have this road walk down to Lujan Creek where we'll take a extended break. So he should be okay, but something for me to take note of or anybody else with dogs that they can't really pick up and bring over those cattle guards might be a, a little bit tricky. So anyways, hiking on. So we're just approaching the end of the trail, gonna find a good spot in the shade for water and I'll clean up, clean up Remy's leg a little bit more. But we're just approaching that highway, 114, and that's another 20.6 miles off of our 500 miles of fun in 2021.